What's up, folks? My name is Josh, but a lot of folks call me Rav. I'm a video strategist that works primarily with coaches, consultants, and service-based business owners to grow your businesses with video. Maybe you've decided that you need to be making videos on TikTok or Instagram. Maybe you're thinking about getting a new video on your website. Whatever that might be, this is going to give you the definitive guide on what kind of video content you should be making depending on what your business goal is for that piece of content. Over my career working in various different aspects of video content creation, I've been able to see what kind of videos work best in different kinds of applications. I've also been able to see the impact that video content can have at different stages in the buying journey. And so I've taken all this insight and compiled it into what I call the mirror funnel framework. And it basically helps you see what kind of video content is going to be the most helpful for your prospects or customers as they move through the sales funnel. Now, I want to give just a little bit of context as to why I made this framework in the first place. The biggest reason is because when I co-owned a video production agency, oftentimes folks would come to us and they would want a video on their website or they'd want to make a certain kind of video, but they wouldn't really know why. And at the time, we would just work on the project the way that they wanted it because because and this is how most videographers work on projects they're expecting you to come to them and say this is what i want and then based on how much work it's going to take they can decide how much to charge you but i soon came to realize that there was an area of opportunity to actually help people get an understanding of what kind of content they need to be creating based on the root need what is the root desire that we're looking to address within the business so i created this framework so that any coach consultant or service-based business owner can look at that root desire and really feel through the heart of what they need and what they're looking for, evaluate their business, see where the area of opportunity is or where the problem area is, and immediately know what kind of video content is going to be the most helpful in contributing to solving that problem. Most videographers don't know this. Some videographers won't tell you this simply because the kind of content that you want them to make is going to be the kind of content that's going to make them the most money. Maybe it means that you guys are working together for the longest. But as we get into the framework, you'll actually see that a lot of this content is the kind of content that you can create once and it becomes an asset for you that has a pretty long shelf life of being effective. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get straight into what I call the mirror funnel framework. So we're going to start looking at this picture here and you're going to notice a sales funnel model on both sides and we have the different stages of the sales funnel going down the middle awareness consideration preference purchase and loyalty and i just want to break those down really quick so awareness is when someone first becomes aware of you or their problem maybe they were going about their lives just fine but then they became aware that something is wrong i'm thinking that i want to maybe make a change or i'm seeing an area of opportunity for coaching and consulting prospects this might be the first moment that they become aware that they have a misalignment in their mindset that is bleeding into their business or that there is another more profitable way of making money in real estate whatever that might be next stage is going to be consideration this is when the prospect is weighing between inaction and action is this problem worth solving are there solutions that are going to be fitting to me and my situation this is where there's a lot of research happening and a decision is beginning to be made third stage is going to be preference so once the prospect has decided you know what this is a problem that is worth solving worth putting money and effort and time into rectifying they're going to go out into the market and see what options are available for them and choose based on whichever they prefer different people are going to have different bases upon which they decide what their preference is for some people trust is going to be a much bigger factor for other people their biggest concern is getting the biggest roi it's going to be different for everybody the the provider that they choose to work with is going to be decided right here in this preference stage fourth stage is going to be actually going about purchasing psychologically this is one of the most fearful and uncertain stages for a buyer this is where they've decided that whatever concerns they may have no longer outweigh the solution or the benefit that the solution can bring them so they're going to go ahead and push through despite those concerns despite those doubts whatever they may be, rational or irrational. At this point, a buyer's biggest concern is what is next? What do the next steps look like? How do I start implementing this 
course, this program, this relationship into improving my life in the way that I anticipate that it will. And then finally, you won't see this typically in most sales funnel outlines, but I like to include it is going to be loyalty. Even after somebody makes a purchase with you, they go through your program, they have their consulting session, whatever that is. Ideally, we want them to be raving fans singing your praises when they walk out the door. And psychologically, it takes the buyer being in a certain place for that to happen. There are things that you can do to actively help push them in from being just a customer to being a loyal raving fan. On the right side, you'll see the video content mirror, and obviously it matches up pretty well. And you'll see the different styles of content. So for the awareness stage, we have micro content that's gonna be the reels, the TikToks, YouTube shorts. These are gonna be the bite-sized chunks. This kind of content is effective during that awareness phase because you don't want to overload your consumer with too much information about a problem they just became aware of, especially if that piece of content is the one making them aware of their problem. Prospects aren't in a state of mind to both become aware of a problem and become aware of the solution and the steps necessary to see that solution through while they're scrolling on Instagram and TikTok. Their minds are just far too interested in finding the next interesting thing. They aren't prepared to consume all of that. At this point, people also don't know who you are. They don't have a reason to trust you. And so it makes sense that this content is going to be shorter because no one wants to invest an hour, 30 minutes, even 10 minutes watching a piece of your content when they don't know who you are. And there's so much other content for them to watch on the internet. The main goal of this content is really going to be to bring the prospect to that awareness of their problem if you can and do it in a way that's engaging, entertaining, insightful, something that's really going to punch through and connect with them. In this micro content, the clearer you can be about who you're speaking to, the better. If a prospect can self-identify and say, ah, this person mentioned coaches and consultants and I am a coach and consultant, they're going to be far more receptive to receiving the rest of the information. Moving on to stage two, we have the consideration phase. And this is where long form videos like this one are going to be key and very helpful and impactful. As a prospect is considering whether or not implementing a solution for this problem is even worth it, they're going to come away or come up with so many more questions that they didn't know they had. How much is this going to cost? How much time is this going to take me? How much energy is going to need to go into this? What's the difference between implementing this kind of solution or that kind of solution or taking this approach or that approach? It's a lot of questions. And so you want to give yourself more runway and more opportunity to be the person that answers those questions by creating longer form videos. Because they're sitting with you longer and spending spending more time consuming your insight, your knowledge, and your content, this is also going to be where a lot of trust is built and the reason why somebody recognizes you as an authority. The way I love to say this is that someone might begin to know, like, and trust you because of your micro content, which of course is important to making them feel comfortable enough to spend money with you. But the other biggest factor that's going to go into whether or not they actually pay you money to help them solve their problem is whether or not they have faith that you are capable of solving it and that you thoroughly understand the problem. It gives you the perfect opportunity to showcase what you know, really cement in that trust, and build good grace with your prospect because you were able to be the source of truth for them when it came to how they're gonna go about improving their lives and solving their problem in this way. So your biggest goal here is really just to answer those questions. And if you can be the one that's answering them before your prospect even asks, they're going to know that you have a deep and thorough understanding and care for them because you went out of your way to articulate the answer to concerns that they never articulated to you. They never expressed it. They never told you that this was a question they had, but you knew to answer it anyways. Moving on to the third stage in the funnel, this is going to be preference. So remember, this is when the buyer knows, okay, I'm going to do something about this. It's just a matter of which solution they're actually going to go with. This is where prospects want to see what you're made of. They want to see what kind of values it is that you embody and what kind of experience they're going to be in for should they decide to move forward with you. So for that reason, brand story videos are very effective at this stage in the process. If you don't know, a brand story video is what I consider to be like a medium length piece of video content. So it can be anywhere from two minutes all the way up to 10, but more typically we'll see them go up to maybe five minutes 
minutes max. These are often more cinematic style of videos, the kind that you would want to work with a videographer to actually record as opposed to recording it yourself, which you could do for the long form videos and the micro content. But the main objective here is to give people a deep understanding of who are you? What are the things that you bring to an engagement or a working relationship that are intangible? In addition to all of the things that would be read on a resume, your years of experience, your working expertise, whatever that is, what are the traits of your soul that someone is going to recognize and say, you know, I value that as well. And for that reason, because you told me that communication is something that you really focus on and that's something that's very important to me and one of my biggest concerns, I'm going to go with you versus the other guy. One big thing to keep in mind for brand stories is that a lot of the things that you're going to want to express in your brand story might seem like, I don't want to say common sense, but like to you, they might not seem like that big a deal. To you, it might not be a big deal that you're honest. To you, it might not be a big deal that you're thorough or that you put an emphasis on the journey as opposed to just the end result when you're working with a client. But to the scared person that a couple pieces of content ago didn't even know that they had a problem, that is highly reassuring. On top of that, you might think, well, yeah, anybody in this business is thorough or thoughtful or communicative, but you get a leg up just for being the person that expresses it as opposed to the person that didn't and left it implied. So having a brand story asset available to someone that is considering whether or not they have a preference for you or another option in the marketplace is going to be very powerful in leading them to make that decision. They might not choose you. You might not be their preference, but the reason that you wouldn't be is going to be because you guys were misaligned in values. For that reason, the brand story is also very effective to helping you pre-qualify your leads. Up until this point, you haven't actually spent too, too much of your own energy and time conversing with your leads because you've been nurturing them through your content. Now, from this point on, this is going to be when you really open yourself up to start making that investment because you know that not only are they serious, but they are a good fit. They are aligned for you from a place of values, from a place of intentions, and from a place of the outcome that they're seeking and the outcome that you can create. Now, moving on to stage four, this is going to be the purchase. The very first time that someone decides, you know what, I'm going to spend money with you. The piece of content here that you see labeled VSL stands for video sales letter. And this is basically when, okay, they've already decided that they know, like, and trust you. This is your opportunity to give them clarity around what the actual journey logistically is going to look like after they start working with you. Everything before this point in the process was the, the sweet talk. It was the talk about the game last week or the weather before you guys actually start talking business in the business meeting. But at this point, stage four in the process, this is when you guys are actually getting ready to sit down and talk business. So in your VSL, you wanna do everything that you can to talk business. What is gonna be the time commitment? What is gonna be the energy investment? What is going to be the timeline, the roadmap, the deliverables, the expectations? You want to create absolute clarity for some Someone that is ready to pull out their credit card and pay you because at this stage lack of clarity is going to be the biggest reason that you have friction and a leak in your sales pipeline the biggest reason that someone will decide not to buy with you is simply because they lack certainty so your video sales letter should give them certainty around all of the things that are going to be the most important how is my time going to be spent how soon am I going to see a return on my investment how much am I going to need to invest and what are the things that I don't know or that I'm not expecting about this process and then finally is going to be loyalty. Once you've actually taken your client through that transformation, you want them to stay loyal. You want them to be somebody that is singing your praises every single chance that they get. If you've worked with folks that aren't being particularly vocal about their experience with you, there's a couple pieces of content that you can make going to help create an experience with them that really drives them over the edge. One of those is going to be case study content. This can be a client interview. This can be just a call where you go over their journey and their experience and their results results after they stopped working with you. You can work with a videographer to capture this content, but even if you're just capturing it over Zoom or remotely, that is going to work great as well. Having that personalized curated experience is really going to make your customer or your client feel special. It's going to show them that even though you are no longer taking money out of their pocket, you still care about them, you still care about their results, and you want to show them off because they know that if you're going about recording this content, you're going to share it with folks. And law of reciprocity, as you go to show them off and create an opportunity to do so, it becomes more likely that they're going to do the same for you, your brand, and your service. This is also going to be a great opportunity for 
for you to capture testimonials from previous clients. And that is going to be a great asset right alongside the brand story, right when someone is in that preference stage where they're deciding, am I gonna go with you? Am I gonna go with you? Who do I trust more? So that is basically the framework. And like I said, you'll notice that some of these are going to be more ongoing efforts while some of these are going to be more quote unquote one and done kind of things. The micro content and those testimonials, those case studies, those client interviews, those are going to be ongoing efforts. One of them is going to be to bring new folks into your top of funnel and one is going to be for the folks that have left your funnel. Now the long form videos are also going to be an ongoing effort, but because you can actually create micro content Content by repurposing those long form videos, you're not going to need to do nearly as much volume in long form videos. One long form video might be enough to give you seven to 15 pieces of micro content. So even if you only posted one long form video every two weeks, you would still have a good body of micro content as well as a good presence of long form video content that you could use to nurture your prospects. Now your brand story and your VSL, those are really going to be something that you create once per offer or per brand, or if you're in switching occupations or something like that, might be something that you're gonna want to update, but for the most part, that's gonna be the only reason that you have to make that an ongoing effort. Now, particularly with the brand story, because this is going to be the majority of your voice, the majority of your soul, if there was one thing on this list that I would recommend that you work with a professional videographer or video agency on, it would be your brand story. Making that cinematic and being able to have that emotional connection is going to have the most impact when you do it there for that piece of content. Now for capturing the rest of this content, I recommend for most folks that they figure out a way to capture it themselves and then hand it off to either a team member in-house or a department in-house or an agency or a partner that they're working with externally to get processed. And the biggest reason for that is you aren't going to want to be on a videographer's schedule or on a videographer's budget when it comes to expenses or efforts that you're going to be accruing month over month over month. It makes far more sense for you to invest the time, effort, and money into getting your own equipment, getting your own setup so that you can capture content that is high quality whenever you want. You'll be able to avoid the ongoing expense of having to pay a videographer every single time that you want to capture content. And you can instead put those resources, that effort, time, energy, and money into building out a system to make sure that it gets processed. Especially when it comes to the micro content and the social media stuff, quality is not nearly as big of a concern. You do not need to be shooting your social media content in 8K with full color depth so that you can make sure that the colors are Hollywood cinematic quality. So oftentimes you end up paying for more quality than you need when it comes to making that ongoing micro content and having a videographer come out, record you every month with a 4K camera, 8K camera, whatever that might be. Now, that's not to say that there aren't circumstances where it makes a lot more sense. I just tend to advise business owners, if you can, it makes more sense to bring a videographer in to consult with you to get your setup right, make sure that it's high quality, get everything set up so that all you need to do is press record and you're ready to go. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. And like I said, I built this framework out primarily for coaches, consultants, and service-based business owners. But this is really true in any business that's making sales and that experiences the sales funnel uh, ascension, dissension, whatever. If this is going to be e-com, your micro content can be user generated content that's just showing the product. Long form videos can be walkthroughs, breakdowns, unboxing. Brand story can be about the company. Video sales letter can be what you can expect when your order comes through or when you place your order. And then those testimonials and results, user generated content, you can do the interviews, very same thing. And it's gonna have the same degree of effectiveness. So if you guys have any questions about this framework or how to start using this framework, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below this video or you can go ahead and message me on instagram my instagram is at ravage the game and i try and check my messages on there every day if i don't get back to you be patient with me and i promise i will make sure that i do also shameless plug if it sounds like a lot for you to think through and you're going through it but maybe you still have some uncertainty around what the best route would be for you as i said i work myself as a video strategist and i also own a video content marketing agency called moguls hq a big part of what we do is consulting on the front end with folks that are just like you 
uncertain but know that they want to start moving forward with video to assess your business and figure out what the best route forward is going to be for you. If that is a conversation that you are interested in having, you can find a link to book a call and go through that deep dive in the description of this video. It is going to be a charged consultation, but I promise and guarantee that you're going to get enough value out of it to move forward in the direction of your choosing when it comes to continuing to grow with video content. We build out a game plan for you and then you can either continue continue to work with us to execute that plan or if you have somebody else that you trust or that you want to work with you can take that plan go to them and you can work with the people that you're comfortable with so until the next piece of content i love you guys keep doing your thing keep being royal and keep being a mogul with it and i'll see you guys in the next one